Hey guys, uh, here is Michael Lennick for your update of my trip in Frankfurt, Germany for weeks six and seven. And so six week six began with uh, me moving into this apartment, finally, and thankfully it's pretty damn massive. Um, perfect location, uh, close to everything, has a grocery store, shops, bank, virtually anything you could think of, and it's within walking distance of my school as well, so it's everything, and then and then some what I could have asked for. We've got two awesome roommates, one's Leo, and the other's Julia, or Julia, if you prefer, and both German-speaking, both native German speakers. Uh, if I ever have any problems, they both speak great English, so if I'm ever, you know, really in a, uh, in a pickle, as us Americans like to say, uh, I will never be, uh, you know, too confused about anything, and they go always explain to me any German words or, uh, you know, social customs I have any questions about. And I can just give you a quick tour of the apartment. Right, I'm in my room right now. So I offered to make it into a bit of an Esszema, or a um, eating room or dining room, and I just bought that TV recently. It's 42 inches and costs all of 140 euro. Really good deal. Uh, the problem is my Xbox does not support uh, European cables. I sleep on the ground at the moment, if you can see that. Uh, I keep my stuff on this. Uh, don't mind the blue carton, that's never here. Um, the, the ladder, though, is currently being used to dry some clothes of mine. Oh yeah, here's my view out the window that everybody can see me naked out of, which is pretty nice. It's quite nice, actually. A lot of activity, a lot of people, but never too noisy, and you almost never hear uh, emergency vehicles as well. So that's everything you could ask for. Internet is amazingly fast. Um, and yeah, here's Yulia's room, but I don't want to look like a creepy asshole, so I'm just going to come inside here. Or the kitchen where I spent most of the time. Right now it's an absolute ruins. No, that not at all thanks to me. Uh, I do all the cleaning and cooking. Um, but I just got back from school, so that's what I'm going to do when we're done. Uh, we'll just take you to the bathroom, why not? Toilet. Window that is inexplicably always open at 7 a.m. when I have to. This is what I'm doing right now. Literally holding my MacBook. How pathetic. Uh, shower. And what have you. Interestingly, there's a window right here that goes to the kitchen. Uh, I have no idea why. But anyway, I'd just like to give you guys an idea of where I'm living right now. Uh, like I said, it's everything I could ask for and more. It's only 20 euro more of the uh, human closet that I had last time. And uh, it's way closer. I don't have to spend 40 minutes walking each day in the blistering cold. And uh, as some of you have asked, uh, I could just go over my classes real quick. Uh, so my... Oh, school week starts on Tuesday and ends on Thursday, so that means it's only three-day week, and I've got a four-day weekend every weekend. Um, so I start out my Tuesday with um, uh, introduction in rhetoric, or rhetoric, sorry, and um, that is a pretty complicated class. The teacher uh, speaks very quickly and with a lot of diction or, you know, complicated words. It's a good way to learn more words. Um, without a doubt, but um, most of the stuff simply just flies over my head. Next, I have uh, Dutch class, which I love. It is by far my favorite class. I love learning new languages, uh, especially in German. And um, Dutch is, you know, a go between between English and German, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, the problem is with a language class, it only happens or rather meets once a week. Um, it's up to you to do all the practicing. And uh, finally, that, that I have my own apartment, now I have somewhere to uh, practice. Uh, next, I have Austrian literature, um, which is actually where I met my good friend Antonia. <laughs> a quick little aside, uh, on the first day when I was going to the classroom, I was totally unsure where everything was. I go up to her and say, uh, room 411, um, and I, because I thought she had a dog with her in, in the States, you have to be blind or disabled in order to have a dog, and so I, I was trying to help her, I thought that, you know, she didn't know where she was, and I said, yeah, room 411, she looked at me, she's like, yeah, <laughs> and then uh, we started a conversation then there, and uh, 
thanks to her, I have this awesome apartment, so I can't thank her enough for everything she's done for me. Next, on Wednesday morning, I have um, what's called Schriftstellerinnen in the goethe Zeit. What that means is uh, female writers in Goethe or Johann von Goethe's time. And I did not realize it was female writers. So in German, to signify fe something that is feminine, you just put I-N at the end. And I didn't realize that it was female writers until about two or three weeks through the class. And I just thought, I don't know, I was perhaps the only guy who signed up for this class all along. Uh, <laughs> I just thought, I don't know, the, uh, you know, female uh, students simply like to read more than the guys, and that just simply explains why I'm the only guy here. But no, actually, <laughs> so I'm usually targeted in this class. Uh, I'm like about one, and sometimes two, there's another male student, but he comes mm, whenever he doesn't have this other class of his, which is about every other week. So most of the time, I'm the only male student out of about 40 other female students which is a nice change of pace. I also like to, you know, hear a new perspective. Uh, and really, I'm probably a feminist too. I believe in women's rights and all this stuff. So uh, it's it's really interesting. Um, I only get slack from the te the professor who, uh, you know, seems to identify males as, you know, awful, masochistic, chauvinistic types, which I am the farthest thing from that. So I usually get asked in class, you know, how do you think about this text, blah, blah, blah. Uh, with, in, although in the text it clearly states men are so awful, you know, strict, uh, mean human beings and this and that. But it's fun, so <laughs> I don't take it too seriously. Mm, next, uh, I have a pause and then I go to uh, another class with Antonia. It's called Einführung in Sprachwissenschaft. I just got back from that, actually. And that is introduction to what's called language science. I tr I roughly uh, transliterate it to introduction in language studies, and that goes over all of phonetics and um, every little uh, precise uh, science you can get into um, in German language. And it's very difficult. Uh, it doesn't help that I've missed about two of the, or rather, the first week, and I showed up for the second week, and then because my birthday was on Tuesday and we went really hard, so to speak, I missed all my classes on that following Wednesday, so that means, yeah, I've missed a lot. So I have a lot of catching up to do, and um, all the notes are online, so that helps. And then uh, to wrap up the week, on Thursday, I begin the day with uh, literature since 1989, which is just like Austrian literature, which I forgot to mention, was very difficult. Um, although I find um, the you know the students in literature since 1989 are more willing to participate. So, given I sit in the you know straight front and center of Austrian literature, I don't feel like the opus is on me to participate all the time. And I do my damnedest to participate as often as I can in both of these classes. But simply, the content just flies straight over my head, and I'm at such a, a disadvantage sometimes. You know, sometimes I can just understand only rudimentarily what is happening within the story, and I'll miss out on all of the, you know, the uh, je ne sais quoi, or um, whatever the uh, fine details about what's happening in the story, uh, which is what our whole conversation is uh, predicated on although I will have no idea what it's about. Um, so I'm either usually piggybacking, uh, pe piggybacking, not to sound too uh, Wisconsin of me, on the other uh, conversations uh, currently ongoing, or I'll simply ask questions. Being one of the most curious people I know, that's very easy for me. It comes naturally. And then finally, on Thursday in my last class of the week, uh, I top it all off with uh, Das Buch Jonah, or the Book of Jonah, uh, the biblical text. I have to take that because I go to Market University, which is a Catholic university, and that means that I have to take, you know, a whole a slew of gen eds, which includes religious or theological courses. And this class, uh, quite like it because the professor uh, both uses very intellectual words, but at the same time also speaks rather slowly, which 
does get a bit boring if you say do not sleep a full recommended eight hours of the previous night which is almost always the case um but at least i can follow what's going on and uh, learn through context what the words the complex words he's using what they mean and then thus learn what those words and better remember what they mean so it's a very helpful cor uh, course for me to uh you know acquire new vocabulary words uh as for the content of the course, there's no assignments. However, at the very end, we have to write an essay about, uh, I don't know, 12 pages long uh, about, you know, one of the chapters of the Book of Yonah, which takes up about uh, one and a half, eight by 11. Each chapter is so short, it takes up about one and a half, eight by 11 uh, sheets of paper. So... I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we shall see. But anyway, that is uh, week, what was it, six and seven. Uh, I was busy um, cleaning up the mess of my party in this apartment that we had uh, last Wednesday, so that explains why I missed you all uh, last Wednesday for all of my uh, two viewers. I thank you dearly. Um, but yeah, uh, I will see you next week uh, for week eight, hopefully. If I don't go out partying again. <laughs> so I'll see you later, guys. Have a good one.